Oke. Okay. Ya, yeah, good evening and salam sejahtera to all of you. So, this is the last lecture lah for chapter 2. Eh? Equations, inequalities and absolute values. Eh? Jadi, kalau kita tengok sini ya. Eh? So, if you look at the learning outcomes of this chapter, eh? this lecture, eh? you should be able to solve the absolute inequalities of the form, okay, when comes to both sides with modulus, eh? yang pertama, eh? kedua-dua ada modulus, yang kedua itu, it is uh, what we call, this one, it is a uh, one side with modulus, okay, and then the other one, uh, quadratic lah. So, and it is also applied to the inequality involving notations less than, less than or equals to, greater, greater or equals to, eh. So, inequality of absolute values, eh, both sides modulus. Kalau kiri kanan ada modulus, I tell you, kalau kiri kanan ada modulus, it's simple, eh. eh I, I would like to show you. Ingat, eh, kalau siapa yang ada kertas, eh, kena ada kertas lah. Okay. Baik, kamu catat. Bila kiri, kanan ada modulus, eh, we just simply squaring both sides. Eh. Kita kuasa duakan kedua-dua belah. Eh. Okay, look at the solutions. X, the modulus of X minus 3 eh, is greater or equals to 2X plus 5. Right. So, you solve it. First of all, definitely, since left hand side with modulus, kemudian kanan pun dengan modulus. So, we just simply Squaring it, eh? squaring both sides. Kita kuasa dua kan tu. Kedua tu. Kuasa kedua kedua dua itu means so it is x minus 3 all squared greater or equals to remain unchanged. Eh? Dia simbol dia tak tukar. Eh? Remain unchanged. Okay, 2x plus 5 all squared. Eh? Kedua dua belah kuasa dua. So for this one, okay. So, as usual, since this is not a, eh, since this is not a, what we call this is not a linear inequality, kan? As I said before, before you answer the inequalities, first of all, you must check. Is this a linear inequality? Eh, so, uh, disebabkan dia bukan linear inequality, so the right hand side, it man be, must be equal to Zero, eh? Ah, Pak Choi, ya, expand. Betul? No? Eh, apa yang expand? Pak Choi, setakat ini tak tunjuk lagi dia expand. No, sekat-sekat, sir. Okay, semua orang sama ke? Ah, suara saya sekat-sekat ke? Ya, yeah. yang lain macam mana? Sama. Sama, ya. Eh. Maksudnya lain saya pula lah. No? Sekat sikit sir. Okay sir. No sir. All good. Saya okay. Okay. Oh maksudnya ada orang tak okay. Ada orang tak okay. Maksudnya bukan lain saya lah ya. <laughs> no. Okay. Boleh lah eh. Okay. Kalau yang sekat-sekat itu nak baca lah. Masih lagi jelas. Okay Pak Choi. Okay eh. Ha, baik. So. Baik. Ya. Yeah. Macam saya katalah kalau inequality kan kalau inequality kalau bukan linear then definitely the right hand side it must be equals to zero. Masih ingat tak? Eh? Masih ingat tau? No? Sebab bila saya sebut ingatlah bila suruh saya, saya suruh jawab tak berapa nak ingat pula dah ya. Okay. So when it comes to this stage how we are going to solve it? Ah, di sini dia ada dua cara. Satu cara you can expand it. Yeah, where x minus 3 to the power of 2 you can expand it as x squared plus 9 minus 6x. Minus the other one. Okay. So 2x plus 5 to the power of 2 means 4x squared plus 25 plus 1020x. Ah, you boleh expand it. Yeah, if you are good in expanding the factor, right? Okay, kalau tak mau ni, yang ni satu teknik lah eh, yang jarang kamu guna. Tapi sekarang, bila dah orang kata masuk metrik itu, if 
if possible lah, you try to learn this technique, yeah. So, okay, let right hand side three equal to zero. So, by using a minus a squared minus b squared, it is equal to a plus b, a minus b, is it? So, now if you look at this one, this would be your a, yeah. Kita guna teknik ini, a squared minus b squared, right not? So, dia akan jadi a plus b, a minus b. Uh, multiply by a minus b. You just simply substitute into the formula eh? rather than we expand the quadratic. Okay, so when it comes to this stage, you can simplify it. x minus 3, kan? Tambah 2x, tambah 5. Then the other side is x minus 3 minus 2x minus 5. Greater or equals to 0. Where x plus 2x to simplify it. So it is 3x minus 3 plus 5 which is 2. x minus 2x which is negative x. Then minus 3 minus 5 which is minus 8. Greater or equals to 0. Okay, setakat ini boleh tak? Boleh tak? Ya, tolong jawab sikit. Saya nampak ada aktiviti sikit. Nah, ini tinggal 102 orang. Boleh ya? Ni siapa yang cakap ni? Suara jauhnya. Ha, jauh. <laughs> Okey, bagus. Boleh lah. Ha, saya dengar suara Boleh. kamu. Okey. Hmm. Okey. Okey, baik. Baik, selepas ini agak-agaknya kita nak buat macam mana selepas ini. So, after we factorizing everything here, so apa yang kita nak buat agak-agaknya? Ingat lagi tak kita dah belajar sebelum ini? So, for any non-linear inequality, first of all, right hand side must be factorized. Then, we, uh, sorry, right hand side must be zero. Then, the left hand side, we need to factorize it completely. Kemudian, so, selepas kita factorize completely, apa yang kita nak buat? Ingat tak? Tak ingat. Tak ada siapa pun jawab. Table of sign. Very good. Dia nak kotak. Ya, yeah, betul Aina. Ya, yeah? okay. So, after we obtain this one, this inequality, okay, I think uh, it is the simplest form of this inequality. Yeah? So, we need to construct a table lah. Before we construct a table, definitely we need to find the critical value. So, which is x is equal equal to negative 2 over 3 and the other one x is equal to oh, ni susah pula ya so before that okay be careful eh, eh bagi pelajar eh langkah ini sebenarnya kami buat untuk pelajar eh so if you look at this one the coefficients of x is negative so bila negative itu pelajar selalu buat silap dia orang katalah dari pengalaman kami so you can convert it into positive. Eh? The whole thing we multiply by negative 1. Bila you darab negative 1, dia akan jadi X tambah 8. Once you multiply by negative 1, remember you must change the inequality sign. Eh? Bila kita darab dengan negative 1, ingat eh? kita kena tukar sign. Eh? So it's better, okay, 3X plus 2. Okay, the second one is X plus 8. Right hand side definitely it is equal to zero. Eh? Then we need to change the inequality sign. Uh, kita kena tukar. Then only we construct table of sign. Eh? Class eh? Kalau tadi siapa yang cakap Diana, Aina, No, Nazifa dia kata nak buat table of sign. Boleh kamu buat terus. Nanti ada masa kamu buat. Eh? Lepas kelas ini kamu buat terus. Okay you will get the same answer. Kalau dapat jawapan Okay, maksudnya you kena jumpa saya lah. Mesti ada sesuatu yang tak kena. Eh? Diana, Aina and Nadia. So for this one, we need to determine the critical values. The negative 2 over 3. Kaya siapa ni? Yang batu ni. X is equal to negative 8. You see or not? So we need to obtain these two critical values. Ya, kita perlukan dapatkan dua critical values ini. So, to obtain this critical value, then we construct this table of sign, eh? the table here. Okay or not? 
So the first factor is 3x plus 2, where the second factor is x plus 8. Then there are two values. The first one is negative 8. The other one is negative 2 over 8. All right. Okay. So instead of this sir, one. Sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saya. Uh, negative 1 tu dia memang 3x tambah 2 tak payah darab lah. Ah, tak ya, either one. Salah satu ya. No, salah satu oh. saja. Okay. Okay, okay. Terima kasih, kan? sir. Okay, sama. Okay, boleh ya? Eh? Uh, tadi siapa yang tanya, yang cakap itu, cuma nanti kamu balik kan, habis kelas kan, balik apa, memang duduk kat rumah kan. Habis kelas ini, cuba kita, orang kata kita... Buat tanpa tukar sign eh. Tanpa tukar sign. Boleh, boleh. Yang yeah, sama, you will get, obtain the same answer. I tell you, don't worry eh. Uh, you will get the same answer. Okay. So, the next one. The next one. So, we have to determine the interval. Right? The first one, it is from minus 8 infinity to minus 8. Then minus 8 to negative 2 over 3. And negative 2 over 3 up to infinity, yeah? Up to infinity. So, after this, we need to determine the sign, yeah? So, this is negative. Still remember how to determine the sign or not? Okay, this is negative. The other one is positive. Or other, uh, negative, sorry. Then, the last one is positive, yeah? Wow, so, dah 9, 12. Ada one join lagi. So the second for the factor of x plus h, the first one is negative, then positive, and positive. So negative multiply by negative, you will get positive. Negative multiply by positive, negative, and positive multiply by positive is positive. Okay, right. So ah, macam ni lah. Okay, then we are looking for which zone? So is okay, if you look at this one, it is in less than or equals to zero, meaning that we are looking for the negative zone, is it? Eh, kita nak tengok negative lah, less than zero maksudnya negative. Okay ke tak? Laju sangat ke tak? Eh, yang ni sebab uh, minggu lepas kita dah banyak buat eh. Okay. And then the solution set, okay, the solution set, it must be, okay, from minus 8 to negative 2 over 3, right, in between. Then since, okay, since the inequality sign here, uh, with, the, with equal sign, so this one is supposed to be with equal sign, eh? ini sepatutnya kena ada equal sign, okay, equal sign. Ya. Yeah. Okey, tolong buat pembetulan eh, buat pembetulan eh. Okey. Boleh, tolong buat pembetulan. Okey ya, eh? ada equal sign di situ. Okey, ada apa-apa nak tanya setakat ini? Boleh tak? Boleh. Okey. Boleh nak Anissa, ya yeah, good, Haslin. Ya, yeah, slow slow. Yeah. Okey, kalau boleh kita tengok the next one eh. Ya, tengok serat, seratus orang, hanya tiga empat orang yang yang boleh sekri. Okay. Ya, tira, ya. Okay. The next one. The solve the modulus of x minus 2 less than modulus of 2x plus 3. Eh? So, I give you one minute. You try to expand it. You try to what we call squaring both sides. Eh? Kiri kanan modulus, definitely squaring both sides lah. Betul tak? No? Okay. Thank you, Zunur, Tok Siong, Najifa, eh? yang lain ramai. So, I give you one minute. You try to do, answer this one. Then later, we check your answer. Eh? Okay.
Okay. Right. So the first one, first step, just simply squaring both sides. Okay. Yeah. Okay, then you can expand it. Yeah. Uh, Tak mau expand, okay, you bawa kanan mesti kosong. Yang ni dapat? Yang ni dapat? This step, the first one. Dapat tak? Dapat lah. Okay, after this, we can use the formula. Okay, A squared minus B squared is equal to A plus B, A minus B, right? Okay, yeah. Uh. Then how you are going to expand it? Okay. The other part? The other part? Okay, good. Mitli, Sakina, yeah, good. Yeah, we just simply expand it this way. So yang ni dia buat terus lah. Dia tak bracket macam tadi. Kan? So contoh tadi sebab they just simply give you the direct, direct one eh. Okay then x plus 2x you will get. Okay after you simplify kan. After we simplify. Apa yang kita dapat tu? Can you please type your answer? Exercise sikit jari-jari. Jari kamu ni. Apa yang kamu dapat? Okey. Hmm, Diana kenapa dapat dalam bentuk ini? Kalau guna full Diana guna yang rumus ini ke Diana expand semua? Okey, tu lepas saya expand. Ah. Okey, Sakina. Sakina. X minus 2X. Sakina kalau dapat itu dah tukar sign lah eh, Sakina. Ya Hazlin. Ha, Hazlin itu kalau guna rumus ini Hazlin eh. Itu lepas saya expand. Expand so eh. Tak ya eh. Siapa dia nak? Sebab kita we need to factorize it. Kanan mesti kosong. Kiri kita kena factorize completely. Ingat tak? Okay dia nak. No. No A dapat, okay, ingat. No, no A. Okay, so you should be able to solve it uh, up to this stage lah. Kemudian kita nak buat apa? Because of the coefficient of X is negative, right not? So kita, we need to multiply by negative 1. Kita kena darab dengan negative 1 eh. Okay. Once you darab dengan negative 1, then... Okay, you need to change the inequality sign eh. Jangan lupa tukar inequality sign. Tadi siapa, ada siapa-siapa yang tak. Okay, nah. Jangan ingat, uh, jangan lupa eh nak, nak tukar. Okay. Then after this, kita nak buat apa agak-agaknya? We need to get the critical values, right? The first critical values, x is equal to negative 1 over 3. The second one, x is equal to negative 5. There are two critical values. Okay, after we obtain the critical values, then we can construct the table of sign. Eh? Ingat, eh? proses dia sentiasa sama. Macam tadi kelas saya, Fahmi dengan Shubia. Eh? Dengan siapa? Alia. Eh? Dan seorang lagi. Ya. Yeah. Saya bagi tahu matematik memang kita kena hafal eh. Kena hafal. Lepas ni apa yang kita sepatutnya yang kita buat. So the first factor is 3x plus 1 and the second factor is x plus 5. Then we have these two critical values. Then we need to determine the interval. The first one is from minus infinity to negative 5. Then from negative 5 to negative 1 over 3. And from negative 1 over 3 up to infinity eh. Up to infinity. Selepas ini kita buat apa? Selepas ini 
we need to determine the sign for each factor. This is negative, this is negative, this is positive, negative, positive, positive. Then, okay. So, kita nak tengok zone mana? Ha, zone mana yang kita nak tengok? Based on this one. It is, we are looking for the positive zone, right? Ya, zon positif ini yang kita duk cari ya. Eh? Ya, good. Ya, positif Haslim. So, can you tell me your answer all of you? Ya, tell me your final answer for this one. Ya, final answer of the, this question ya. Eh? Can you tell me? So, jawapan dia sepatutnya either sini. Atau sini kan? Okay. So you just simply write down your answer. It is either uh, x less than negative 5 union x greater than negative 1 over 3. Okay. Dapat tak? Plus dapat? Okay. Kau dapat next. Okay, look at this one. Solve the inequalities. Yeah, solve the inequality. Yeah, solve the inequality. So basically, eh, apa yang kita belajar ni, boleh tak kita, kita bagi tahu saya cara nak solve this inequality? Yeah? Can you tell, please tell me how we are going to solve this inequality? Tengok kiri kanan, modulus tak? Kiri dan kanan modulus tak? Tak kan? Kalau tak kita nak buat macam mana? Ha, kalau tak kita buat macam mana? Yang sebelum ini. Ya yeah, basic Azrizan. Very good. Kita guna basic eh. Buang modulus. Ha? How to buang modulus? Betul Zunur? How to buang modulus? Rumus apa? Ada berapa rumus semua? Untuk modulus. Ingat tak yang kita belajar hari Isnin tu? Eh, empat, lima. Ya, empat untuk buang lah eh. Satu untuk equation eh. Lima rumus untuk buang modulus. Betul? Still remember eh. For some of you, maybe you lupa. The modulus of X. If it is equal to A, then you can write, eh, rewrite as X is equal to A. Oh x is equal to negative a. The second rumus modulus of x less than a, then definitely we can rewrite it as x is greater than negative a and x is less than a. First step. So if you try this first step, then you, you can't solve it, then you need to expand it. x is greater than negative a and x is less than a. Then the third one, if the modulus of x is greater than a, then we can rewrite it as x is greater than a or x is less than negative a. Ha, begitu juga ada dua lagi lah. Ha? We just simply put equal sign here. Then the other one as well. Okay, we just simply put equal sign here. Okay, nah. ingat tak? Ah, remember good. Bau, bau ingat ke? Ha, Anissa. Memang ingat tau. No? Kena hafal lah. No? Jangan bila tengok saya buat itu, you kata you tahu. Eh? Memang lah no? tengok saya dah tulis. Eh? Fahmi, betul lah Fahmi. Fahmi ada dalam ni. Eh? Fahmi dengan Sukri, eh? betul kan? Bila tengok orang tulis, kita ingat. Eh? Ah, betul lah. Thank you Fahmi. Okay, the modulus of X minus... Uh, what? Modulus of 1 over x minus 3 is less than, uh, x minus 2 is less than 3, right? So, yang ini kita nak guna rumus yang ke berapa tadi? Okay, right. So, definitely lah. Kita kena guna rumus, okay, 1 over x minus 2 is greater than negative 3 and 1 over x minus 2 is less than 3. Yeah, less than 3. Okay. So for this one, can you solve it directly? Boleh tak kita selesaikan terus? Boleh tak kita selesaikan terus? 
Tak boleh. Sebab apa tak boleh, Diana? Tak boleh, nah. Sebab apa tak boleh? Bukan linear. Very good. Good answer, eh. Tasmalia, eh. Ya, yeah, good answer. Bukan linear. Ya, yeah, Zunur pun sama, ya. Yeah. So, bukan linear macam mana kita nak buat. So, this one, ya. Eh. Fahmi ni tengok betul-betul. Kita tulis yang ni. Tengok this part first. Atau dia, sorry, sorry. Sini dia tengok, eh. Dia akan tekak jadi. Okay, this part. Okay, nampak tak? Dia ambil this part. 1 over x minus 2 is less than 3. Then and okay and dia ambil this part pula dah. 1 over x minus 2 is greater than negative 3. You see or not? So how we are going to split it? Yeah? Okay. Uh, bila kita split, look at this one. Uh, dia akan jadi 2 into 2 inequalities. There are 2 inequalities here. Okay, dua ketaksamaan di sini. Okay. Tengok ketaksamaan pertama. Ketaksamaan ini linear ke? Tak linear. Linear ke? Bukan linear. Can you tell me? Eh, kita tengok yang yang ini dulu. Linear ke? Bukan linear. Tak linear ke? Tak linear apa yang kita nak buat? Hmm, ya yeah, betul tak linear. Kalau tak bukan linear, apa yang kita ingat tak proses terusnya? Bawa P sebelah, betul. Bawa P tiga, pindahkan kena. Okay, move three. Ya, yeah, good. Yeah. So, kanan mesti kosong kan? Kanan mesti kosong. Then, after we obtain this kanan kosong, we need to simplify it right now. We rationalize the denominator. We try to see, must try to simplify it until we obtain the simplest form. Okay, samakan denominator. Ya, yeah, bagus. Okay, boleh tak? Boleh. Ha, ini yang belah kiri. Ya, yeah? yang ini yang belah kiri. Ya. Yeah? Ha. Okay, yang belah kanan ha, belum buat lagi. And, and. Nanti kita buat. Yang belah kanan ini tak buat lagi. Okey, sebelah kiri okey tak? Kosongkan. Ya, kali betul. Okey. Then the next one. Okey, kita tengok kanan pula. Okey. Yeah. Sebab tempat tak cukup sepatutnya. After this, kita buat apa selepas ini? Yeah. Selepas step ini. Kita sepatutnya buat apa? Can you tell me selepas step ini. Sepatutnya kita di bawah ini kita buat apa? Ah, di sini. Sepatutnya table of sign. Ya yeah, betul table of sign. Ha? Bagus. Eh? Tapi sebab tempat tak cukup. Jadi saya hold dululah. Saya buat sampai sini. Is it okay? Now tahu kan? You can imagine kan? After this part you should construct a table of sign. Eh? Okay. And the next one pula. Nah, kita tengok yang the next one. So, there's this one. Okay, as usual, right hand side make it zero. Right. Then we find the common denominator. Then we need to simplify until we get the simplest form uh, of the inequalities. Sama juga. So, lepas ini, kita buat apa? Table of sign as well. Is it? So, sebenarnya sini and sini kan betul tak nampak ada n ni cuma kita tak tulis dia ada ya yeah? n n n nampak tak n eh? takkan setiap kali kita tulis jadi kita tulis lah last kali then after this next step we use table of sign for each of the inequality ya yeah? kita guna table of sign so ya yeah, saya bawa yang tu main ke sini so now I give you one minute. Can you please construct table of sign for this part and this one as well? Okay. Uh, bagi tahu saya. Okay, saya bagi seminit. Then later we check our answer. 
Ha, jangan rujuk ha. apa yang kami hantar jawapan tu jangan rujuk ha. Okay, let's see So this one. Okay, so as usual, we have two factors here. The first one, uh, we need to obtain this one. We need to find the critical values. Okay, X is equal to, okay, what do? There are two values of X, is it? The first one, okay. 3 minus 3, uh, 7 minus 3x, x minus 2. Then this is x equals 2 and the other one x is 7 over 3. Eh? 7 over 3 is actually 2 and 1 over 3. Eh? 2. Okay, 2 and 1 over 3. Then we need to determine the interval or the intervals. Eh? Kemudian plus my plus minus plus minus plus plus right so it's negative positive and negative okay so for this part what is the answer for this part negative right so you need to write your answer here okay dapat tak yang belah ni dapat Hmm, sebelah ni dapat tak? Sebelah kirinya. Solutions. Perzana. Anak ni dapat tak? Fami. Dapat Fami. Dapat lah. Azunur. Ya, yeah, good. Okay. Yang belah kanan. Sebelah kanan. Okay. We need to construct another table of sign. Yang ni sebab yang lesson sebelum ni. So, saya buat cepat sikit lah. Okay. So, there are another set of solutions. Eh? Dapat? Kan? Kan belum dapat yang ini. Belum dapat ya? Betul tak Farzana? Farzana dapat tak? Sebelah kanannya. Eh, bahagian ni. Okay eh. Dan ni Fahmi, tengok betul-betul Fahmi. So ini left hand side and this solution and the other set of solutions. Eh? Ada dua set of solutions. Then definitely we need to construct a line number. Eh? To merge it, to combine it. Eh? To combine these two sets of solutions. The first one is two. Two. Okay, then 7 over 3. Nanti ada yang betul, eh, saja proper one. 5 over 3 is 1, eh, is 1 plus something, 2. So, the first set, eh, macam mana kita combine, eh, tengok. Uh, oh, belum. Okay, boleh tak saya proceed, Fazana? Belah ni nanti boleh dapat ke, no, Fazana? Eh, Fazana, okay. Dah apa sebab yang ini nanti kamu boleh buat. Dia sama ya proses dia. Ya, yang ini saya bagi jawapan. Okey ke tak? Boleh lah Zanur. Fazana macam mana Fazana? Okey lah. Baik. So there are two sets of solutions. We need to combine it. Ya. We need to merge it. So this is from 7 over 3 to infinity, right? 7 over 3 up to infinity and less than 2. 
This one is from 5 over 3 and below. Okay, it's from 2 to infinity. Because the operator here is A and D, so we need to determine. Okay, yang inilah. Uh, intersections line. Line slow, eh? Okay, tak apa. Okay, we need to determine the intersections area lah. Okay, boleh eh? Uh, we need to in determine the intersections area. So, based on this one. Okay, tadi ini yang kita dapat kan? Yang ni yang belakang kiri. Jawapan tadi, kiri. Yang ni yang belakang kanan. Yang tengah-tengah ni, we put intersections because of the operator is N, right? Yeah? So, we need to construct a number line. Okay, construct a number line. The first one, yeah? the first one, the first one, it is from minus infinity up to 2 and uh, or 7 over 3 up to infinity. Eh? Kurang dari 2 dan lebih dari 7 per 3. The second line is from minus infinity to 5 over 3. Then 2 to infinity. Because of the operator here. Eh? Dia adalah N. So we are looking for the intersection area lah. Intersection eh? yang lorek ini. Then how to write down the final answer. The final, the final answer is x less than 5 over 3. This part is x greater than 7 over 3, right? Eh, tapi kita tak tulis greater than 7 over 3 like that. So normally kita tulis x is less than 5 over 3. Then x is greater than 7 over 3. Then tengah-tengah union, we just simply put x colon. Ah, macam tu saja. Settle. Okay, atau yang nak type eh. Yang cantik sikit eh. Okay, or we can put it in interval form. Or we can rewrite eh. In solution set. Eh. Interval form atau set of solutions. Okay, boleh tak? Boleh. Okay, the next one. Example 4. Eh? Example 4 is to solve. The modulus of 10 minus 2x over 3x plus 1 greater than 1. Eh? Greater than 1. So, ha, boleh lah. Bagus. Simboy. Okay. Hanani. Nur Anissa. Hazlin. Nur Syahira. Okay, keluarkan kertas. Buat satu lagi. Buat satu lagi kita boleh berehat dah. Dah? Uh, yang ni sebelah kanan tak ada modulus. Kalau sebelah kanan tak ada modulus kita nak buat macam mana? Ingat tak? Guna lima rumus itu. Eh? Guna lima rumus itu. Oh tinggal 98 orang eh. Kesian. Tak laku sungguh. <laughs> 97 lah. Ya? Makin ramai tinggalkan. Okey. Baik tak apalah eh. Siapa yang sudi stay. Kita belajar sama. Okey. So macam mana kita nak guna rumus apa? Ia yeah, siapa to use the modulus of x greater than a if and only if x is greater than a or x is less than negative a kan? Betul tak? Uh, rumus saya bagi. Boleh tak kamu cuba? Oh tinggal 100. Ramai keluar dah. Okay dah. Okay eh. So for this one. Eh, we write A. X. 
greater than A or X is less than negative A. The first step, dapat tak? Eh, Shahira, Hazlin, Anissa, Simboy, Anani. Dapat, eh? Atira, ya, yeah, thank you. Hazlin. Yang lain saya tak tanya itu sebab pun boleh jawab lah eh. Sebab kat screen saya tu, handphone itu saya nampak 45 ya yang latest. Okay, dapat yang ni. Right. So, once again. Ah, ingat lima rumus itu sentiasa digunakan. Jika sebelah saja modulus. So, so, dia akan jadi two inequalities. Right now, look at the first inequalities here. The first one and the second one. Uh, bila when comes to any inequalities to solve it, so first you must ask yourself lah. Huh? Firstly, you must ask yourself, is this a linear inequality? Adakah dia linear? Adakah dia linear? No. Yes. Kalau no, apa yang kita nak buat? Sentiasa ingat proses itu. Saya tahu kamu suka buat terus. Soalan tak ada trik, boleh buat terus. Ya, senang. Okay. So, kalau now, apa yang kita bawa? Bawa pi left hand side. Jadikan dia kanan kosong. Very good. Hmm? Cepat sangat dia nak samakan denominator. Bawa kanan bagi kosong dulu. Eh, kanan mesti kosong dulu. Okay. Then kosong. Kemudian. Yeah. Try to get the common denominator. Or we say rationalize the denominator. Then we simplify it. Okay, maka kita simplify it. Okay, ya yeah, kanan bagi jadi kosong. Okay, dapat tak? Dapat? Sampai setakat ni boleh? Boleh ke tak? Dapat eh? Then the next one. Ha, belah kanan. Sama juga. Is this a linear inequality? Bukan. Kalau bukan, kanan mesti kosong. Okay, kanan mesti kosong. Then, kita find the common denominator. Then, we simplify. Okay. Eh, mungkin yang ni how to simplify itu saya tak buat step by step lah. Eh, saya cuma tunjuk jawapan lah eh. Sebab kita peringkat metrik dah. Okay. Nampak tak ada O? Sini, or situ. Kan? Kalau bukan linear inequality, lepas ini agak-agak kita ada apa? Ada apa? Yang Apa yang patut kita nak buat? Lepas yang ni. Lepas step ini, lepas step ini. Selepas ini, kita kena buat, ya, table of sign, ya. Sama juga begitu juga, ya. Table of sign. Okay, next step is to using table of sign. Okay. So, to construct this table of sign, okay, so the first factor, 9 minus 5x, the second factor, right, 3x plus 1, so then there are two critical values here, what negative 1 over 3 and 9 over 5, yeah. Laju sangat ke tak? Tak sempat. Eh, tak sempat eh. Okay, yang kanan table of, okay. What about the solutions for this one? It is from minus 1 over 3 to 9 to 5. Oh, okay. Oh, kita tulis sini. Oh, okay. What about this part? Okay. So, you try to solve this part, then you tell me your answer. Ya, yeah, you selesaikan. Kemudian you dapat tahu, bagi tahu saya jawapan kamu. Ya, yeah, bagi tahu saya. No, ada orang kata, good evening sir, maaf sir. Tak tahu kenapa hari ni saya join Google Meet tapi tak boleh dengar suara saya. Jadi sekat-sekat lepas itu slide pun lambat. Saya rasa line saya yang problem. Maaf sangat sir. Ada record kan? Macam mana saya nak tengok balik ya? 
Dah banyak kali tiba-tiba terlef. Lepas itu kena masuk balik kesian kat dia. Waktu tu. Okay, dapat ni eh? Yang belah kanan. Okay, we check and see. Yeah, very good Hanani. And, and again, Hanani, Diana, Mitli, ha, Hanif, Karam. Okay. So, okay, kita tengok betul ke tak? Okay. Eh? Negative, positive, positive, negative, negative, positive, positive, negative, positive. So, it's negative. And then, there are two sets of solutions, right? So, lah, like, sini satu, sini satu. We need to merge it by using or. Eh? Or, maksudnya back to chapter one lah, chapter one. So, bagaimana kita nak buat? Okay. Okay, what is your final answer? Yeah, do you know how to merge it? Any number line? Negative 1 over 3. 9 over 5. 9 over 5 is about 1, almost 2 lah. 1 and 4 over 5. Minus 11. Minus 11. Minus 1 over 3. Okay, ada tiga nilai. So, from minus 1 over 3 to 9 over 5. Eh? Minus 1 over 3 to 9 over 5. Then the other one is from minus 11 to minus 1 over 3. Okay, apakah jawapan kamu? Jawapan kita sepatutnya sini atau sini. Excluding, 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 excluding negative 1 over 3. Eh? Excluding negative 1 over 3. Eh? Ha, sebab yang ni dia nampak dia bulat kosong, tak termasuk eh. Dua-dua tak termasuk, meaning tak boleh termasuk. So, okay. So, this one, ha, you see or not? So, the, the first line is from minus 1 over 3 up to minus 1 over 3 up to 9 over 5. And this one is from minus 11 up to negative 1 over 3. So, it's not the intersections, the union of these two lines, okay. Okay, kesatuan bagi dua line ni adalah macam ni. Okay. Tak termasuk negative 1 over 3. Or oh, in this stage, okay, you can rewrite x in greater than negative 11 and x is less than negative 1 over 3. Or oh, x is greater than negative 1 over 3 and x is less than 9 over 5. Okay or not, all of you? Okay, you got idea to solve it or not? Boleh, okay, eh? Hanif, thank you, Frazana. Okay, baik, the next one. Yeah. Okay, tengok ada berapa? 12. The last one is it? Yeah, the last example eh. So, I give you 2 minutes lah. Last example. 2 minutes, you try to solve it until you get the final answer. Plus. Ya, yeah, saya bagi masa. Cuba selesaikan dia. Sehingga kamu dapat jawapan akhir. Ya. Yeah. Two minutes now. It's nine fifty. Okey. Kalau dah siap bagi tahu saya eh. 
Siapa yang dah siap? Eh? Okay, the next one. To show you the answer. For this one, definitely lah. We need to use these definitions. The mod the modulus of x greater than a if and only greater or equals to a if and only x is greater or equals to a or x is less than or equals to negative a eh? I need rumus eh? jangan kata sir rumus ini saya tak faham eh? you bukan nak faham rumus you nak tahu macam mana nak guna how to apply the rumus eh? bukan kita nak faham rumus ok then the first step And the modulus of x plus 2 over x minus 3 greater or equals to 3. So, it can be written as x plus 2 over x minus 3 greater or equals to 3. Or, x plus 2 over x minus 3 less than or equals to negative 3. So, class. Nah, nak tanya eh. Siapa yang cuba buat lah. Adakah kamu dapat step ini? Step inilah step pertama yang paling penting. Kalau step ini salah maksudnya yang seterusnya pemeriksa tak tengok dah. Ya, kalau dapat dia ini memang dapat satu markah dah. Adakah dapat semua? Dapat eh? Good. Eh, exactly ya. Eh? Exactly ya. Eh? Buat kiri kanan lah. Eh? Jangan buat atas bawah lah. Eh? Eh, siapa yang buat atas bawah tu? Minta buat di kiri kanan macam saya tunjuk kat slide. Okay nah. Then this one. Okay. Uh, yang ni dia unik sikit lah saya punya animation. So this one. It is okay as usual. The kanan. Okay it's not a linear inequality. Kanan must be equal to zero. This one. This one as well. Kanan must be equal to zero. Eh, sebab yang ini saya nak kamu share jawapannya. Jadi saya tak buat ikut animation lah. Sepatutnya during exam, you solve this part, then only we solve the other side. Eh? Kita buat sebelah-sebelah eh. Kalau exam, masa kita buat latihan pun samalah eh. Okay. Then the next one, we try to rationalize the denominator. Okay, we need to find the common denominator. Then we need to simplify. Okay, adakah kamu dapat setakat ini? Setakat ini, adakah kamu dapat? Belum. Kamu macam mana tengok tak ada siapa? Ah, dapat. Okay, good. Okay. Dah dapat. So this one, the first part. Oh, the second part. Right now. The first part or second part. So this one, yeah. we need to construct table of sign for this one. Then we get the answer for this part is from 3 to 11 over 2. Okay, kenapa sini bukan close interval? Sebab X minus 3. Eh? X tak boleh sama dengan 3. Eh? X tak boleh sama dengan 3. Dapat? Then the other side, 4x minus 7 over x minus 3 less than or equals to 0. So this one, we need to construct table of sign as well. Okay. Is it okay? Okay, eh? then I give you one minute. You try to merge this answer. Actually, um, there is a word or here. Or, eh? or. Okay. Can you please solve it? Last one. Then you tell me your final answer. Can you please construct your number line? Cepat, cepat. Nak tidur awal, cepat. Saya pun nak tidur dah. 9.55, elok-elok sejam. Cepat, 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 cepat.
Okey dah dapat. Uh, buat dah semua hilang dah. Semua keluar dah tinggal 91 orang. Ya yeah, Mitri. Okey ada siapa dapat lagi? Ya. Yeah. Dah main eh. We check the answer. Okey. Mitri, Diana. Okey. So for this one. There are two sets right. The first two solutions and the second one right. So we need to merge it by using the number line. The first set is from 3 to 11 over 2. The second one is from 7 over 4 up to 3. Then because it's union, union kesatuan, kita ambil ke semua except 3. Yeah? So is your answer correct? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, betul semua. Yeah, very good. Ah, yes, very good. Ah, sekarang sebab dengan apa orang kata dengan panduan saya sebut lepas ini kita check apa nanti kamu cuba jawab soalan tutorial kemudian cuba buat macam saya buat adakah dia linear kalau bukan linear apa yang kita nak buat kalau nak mesti kosong factorize dan seterusnya now you try to use according to the steps eh? kemudian nanti dia akan jadi mudah lah jadi secara keseluruhan habis chapter ni dan kita jumpa lagi bila? Es minggu depan ya. Hari Isnin. Okey, baik. Terima kasih semua. Dan kita jumpa lagi. Good night to you. All of you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okey, welcome. Okey, baik. Masih. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir.